Shalom, shalom, I'm just Kapaya, a.k.a. Pops, with another sit down here in Chicago. Before I get started, though, like always, I want to send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Kakadash, to the apostles and elders of GMS out of New York, the elder bishops out of Connecticut, the apostles that's down in Texas, I want to send double honors because they do rule well. But brethren around the world push the truth on cut unfiltered, give you good, bad, and ugly of the scriptures, correctly break it down the prophecies and interaction with the people on the planet, declaring warning, I send salutations. But hopefully elect, I hope this is edifying. Basically go be a one and done type of scenario and why not? But I'm gonna let this run because as you can see, uh in, in this thing, Amazon fired them without giving them giving without telling them it was their last day. So there was no two week notice. There was no nothing. There was no, no, uh, 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 professional etiquette or any of that other stuff that they used to tell you that, you know, you give, you give professional courtesy by letting somebody know if you found a job, you give them two weeks and this day and another. So, you know, as far as business and etiquette and, 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 and uh, standards and shit of that nature, this either might have none, never really had any, and whatnot. The only standards he ever tried to put in place was to benefit him or whatnot. When he put all them 400 treaties in with the native, the natives, the, the, the Gadites and the Reubenites and, 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 and those people that was here in this land, when they came over here, they made them 400 treaties with what they called the natives at that time. They broke every last one of them and then some. So like I said, you know, but like I said, they want you to give them two weeks notice when you get ready to go and move on or whatever so that they can get a chance to get somebody in, how you train them and all this other shit. But when they want to just up and go, exactly what it said, because it's what it says. Amazon fired them without telling them it was their last day. So they didn't even get, they didn't give them no warning. It, it, it came a Friday, boom. Oh, by the way, this is this, this is that, and that is it. So um, I'm going to let this play a little bit and let you hear the song that they got in it and this, that, and the other. I can't say it's necessarily a sad day because of the fact that, like I said, you know, based on the scripture that's going to be there, we know that this shit is coming down the pipe. So as the hopeful elect, you 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 got this. This is what this means. As a matter of fact, let me get this scripture first. Um, let me get this scripture first. Uh I don't want this one yet. That's the one I'm going to go to. But I actually want to get this one first. Uh, Isaiah 33 and 6. And wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times and strength of salvation. The fear of Yahweh is his treasure. Where wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy times. So where are you supposed to get that wisdom and knowledge to know what the fuck is coming down the pipe out of these scriptures? So see for these people that don't have these scriptures, this shit is blind. This shit blindsided them. But you see, we know it's coming. Okay, we talk about that. You know, uh, pursuant to Revelation the thirteenth chapter, sixteenth verse, chapter fourteen, chapter nineteen, this, that, and the other. You 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 know. This thing with this M, M to the O to the T to the B, okay, this C hip that's coming down the pipe, we already know it's gonna come, it's gonna pop up and it's gonna be a day where pretty much everyone in GMS, when they when they go national with it, everybody in GMS gonna be like, oh well, there it go, fuck it. <laughs> you know, and, and this is just a this is that, and we see this coming. Because we know that that is the line that's going to be drawn in the sand. And that's going to be the line that, as Joshua said, all those that shall worship, as far as him and his house, we shall worship the Lord. That uh, uh, Moses, when he said, all you all that worship Yahweh Bashim Awa Shai, or Yahweh Bashim Awa Shai, you come on this side. And the ground opened up. So this is what I'm saying. This is We see this coming. But for the world, this is gonna be the blind side. This is gonna be the thief in the knife that the, the thief in the night that the scriptures talk about. So let me go on back to that and let that play, and then I'm gonna put a, I'm gonna put that Ecclesiastes on it and call it a day. Hold on. Ah. Uh. Oh, 
to Arizona, and none of these workers are offered anything to come out that way or anything else. And I wouldn't want to relocate with these seven motherfuckers like this, because they get your ass out there, and then when the shit go bottom up, and guess what? That'd be the end of that. And now you're out there without even having your family around. Okay? So, motherfuckers, like I said, you're breaking down the car and shit, the whole deal. Like I said, blind side. Everybody sitting out there like, damn, you know, they got rich. Gone to Arizona. They got they got uh, apartment, car notes, all kinds of shit that they that they've got uh, uh, hooked on this. Brother here in Chicago work for Amazon, okay, and whatnot. But he's 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 hot in the faith, and he know this shit is coming, okay. So when it when it strikes, as a matter of fact, I'm gonna send this to him. But like I said, you know. We know this is coming. That's why I said so. When they when they go to uh, the C hip and it goes national, okay, then guess what? G- GMS as as a whole, as far as brothers having jobs, that's going to shut down whatever hustles you got going or whatever that can get you through for whatever small amount of time or whatever minuscule time it might be, then that's going to be what's going to be. But other than that, that's it. That's it. So, like I said, you know, pray up fast. Ask the Lord to give you faith for you to be able to get through these things. You see him coming. So his word go hold true. He said his word when I come back void. What's the word? This one here. Hold on. Let me go and get, yeah, let me go and get this. Uh, no, I don't want to do that. Let's go to, just go to Ecclesiastes 12. Then. Let's see. Okay, Ecclesiastes 12, I'm going to start at 3. In the day when the keepers of the house shall tremble, and the strong men shall bow themselves, and the grinders cease, grinders being worked because they are few, means the jobs are few, and those that look out of the windows be darkened, and the door shall be shut in the streets when the sound of grinding is low, meaning there's no work, and he shall raise up, at the voice of the bird and all the doors of music shall be brought low. So see, the scriptures tell us that, th- that this, 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 this economy and this working is going to be shut down. Going to be shut down, shut off, kaput, say bye-bye. Okay? Like I said, if they don't do it this summer, like I said, I'm 62 years, I'll be 62 years old. I just, and I got my thing in the mail just here, just now and whatnot. And I can actually start collecting a, a, a retirement pension at 62. I ain't trying to wait to 70 when, when it'll be a, a couple grand or whatever it might be. As soon as that shit, as soon as that shit hit the thing, I'm done. Shit, I, I ain't looking to get up at that time of the morning and have to go to fucking work anyway. I don't want this shit, and I know this shit coming to an end. So whatever it is that's there that I can get, I'm going to get that shit and call it a fucking day until this shit let the wheels on this motherfucker roll off of it. So for you all that's out there that's in this understanding and, and got some facsimile of understanding the names of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai, this, this C hip. Uh, 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 that that you that who's who is really Israelites and who's going to be able to be part of the elect and it ain't just open for everybody and these types of things. You hold strong, pray, ask the Lord to forgive you for your sins. Okay, uh, keep the statutes and law statutes and commandments to the best of your ability. 
and, and remember Judges 5 and 11, you're practicing the righteous acts to the best of your ability here, here in the land of your captivity, okay? And remember yourselves as far as being Israelites, okay? And understand that they ain't, they all ain't going to be looking like Johnny Schaff on that day, okay? Because we've been spread to the four corners of the earth, so we go look like the four corners of the earth when it all jumps down. So with that, I want to again send all praises, honor, and glory out to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, to the apostles and elders of GMS again out of New York. I send double honors to Elder Bishops, Connecticut, apostles down in Texas. Uh, for the brethren around the world, again, it's pushing this truth uncut, unfiltered, giving good, bad, and ugly of the scriptures, declaring war on the planet, salutations. Hopefully, elect. I hope that's edifying. Aqua, I fear and true. Let's listen to society chair to keep doing so. But for the scorn and for reprobate two third Israelites and the, and, and the rest of the nations, 17 other nations who are in the midst of Jacob's trouble, it's going to get worse. So for the first group of Hardy Shalom and the second group of Barbara Ball. <laughs>